Fuel prices seem to be on the rise almost daily, and Americans are starting to feel the effects of it on their wallet. And at a time that RVers are at their peak time of figuring out their summer travel plans. So in today's video, we're going to discuss how this is affecting RV travel and some money saving tips to keep your plans on track. Hey there, welcome back to the Northwoods. If you're new here, I'm Corey. And RV travel with the family is all about making memories. But there's gonna be times in your RV life that travel costs are a deciding factor in those plans. With the current economy and fuel prices on the rise, many RVers are having to take a step back and look at their summer travel plans. But before we jump right into the video, I ask that you take a moment, subscribe to the channel, and set the bell to all so you get notified of more videos about RV travel, tips, tricks, and everything else RVing. So if there's one thing that you're gonna learn as an RVer with enough time on the road is that you have to remain flexible. This lifestyle is anything but predictable. And the hurdle in front of us today is how do we afford to get from point A to point B with today's current fuel prices? Well, today I wanna to share with you a few tips on saving some cash at the pump, as well as some ways to offset the total cost of your RV travels, so hopefully you can still make those memories this summer. Our first tip is to avoid truck stops. Truck stops are known for being easy on, easy off the highway, and the big parking lots can be very alluring to RVers. But know that that also comes with added cost at the pump. Some truck stops can be as much as 40 or even 50 cents more per gallon just for that simple convenience. If you do plan to frequent truck stops, there are fuel saving programs out there to help save on that inflated price at the pump. One of the best programs out there for those of you that have diesel vehicles is the TSD fuel card program. This fuel card program helps by saving at many truck stops located across the country at a saving far greater than other programs. But what if you don't drive a diesel? Well, not all is lost. Good SAM membership can still help you save a little bit at the pump at Flying J and Pilot location. The savings is nowhere near the TSD program, but still well worth the saving with fuel prices so high. Tip number two, use apps on your cell phone like Gas Buddy to find the cheapest fuel in your area. Fuel prices are constantly changing. This is a great way to save a few bucks here and there as you travel. Tip number three, take advantage of fuel station loyalty programs. Many major gas stations have loyalty programs that allow you to earn points to be used on both fuel as well as snacks and beverages along your travel. This is a great simple way just to squeeze an extra buck here and there. Tip number four, slow down. It's RVing, it's not about the race, it's about the journey. Driving slightly slower can actually increase the miles per gallon your vehicle is capable of, helping save you money. So when we've done everything that we can to save on the cost of fuel, it's time to look at the little things that we can do to try to offset our travel costs to help absorb some of that pain of the price of the pump. For our viewers, this may include camping memberships. Camping memberships are available in many different tiers as well as upfront cost versus long-term savings. The first two to mention are Thousand Trails and Coast to Coast. These memberships can offer many different levels but are really known for their top tier packages that really cater to full-time RVers. These two memberships have a much higher upfront cost, but offer the best value of savings over a long period of time. The top tiers of these programs can easily cost anywhere upwards to ten dollars to $15,000 to buy into, but can easily pay for themselves over the course of a few years, depending on how much you use it. If you do purchase one of these memberships, I highly recommend that you do so before you go full time. This will give you the chance to pay off that high upfront cost before you're on the road and then you can enjoy the savings over the longevity of your membership. You'll also have ongoing yearly membership dues with these programs, but it will allow you to enjoy free or near free camping on a regular basis. If you are full time, or even camp for extended periods of time throughout the year, this can be a huge cost savings as campsites aren't getting any cheaper and the prices continue to rise every year. There are other camping programs that you can get into for relatively low cost and start saving big money right now. A few of those programs include Passport America, Harvest Host, and Good Sam. Passport America is a network of campgrounds across the U.S. and Canada that helps you by saving up to 50% off campsites on certain days of the week. 
This program is relatively inexpensive to get into and can help you start saving hundreds of dollars a month camping. I'll put a link down below for Passport America if you're interested. And if you use our member ID for the referral, you'll get an additional six months free on a one-year membership. The next membership is Harvest Host. Harvest Host is a membership that allows you to boondock one night at a time at places like breweries, farms, golf courses, museums, and even more. For your night of boondocking, it's recommended that you make a purchase of goods or services at the location in which that you're staying. This can include merchandise, food, drinks, or even a round of golf. Some of these items you may already be spending anyways on top of what you'd normally be paying for a campsite. In exchange, this helps these locations provide a clean, safe environment for you to boondock. The next membership is Good Sam. Not only does it help you save a few dollars at the pump here and there, but you can also save on items like propane, camping gear, pet supplies, and even prescriptions. This membership is the lowest cost of all of them, but if you take advantage of the discounts available to you, it can pay for itself in no time. I'll include a link down below for the Good Sam membership program. The last way to offset the cost of your RV travels is to either boondock or mooch dock as much as possible. Boondocking is camping in locations like BLM land, national forest, or even state land that don't offer water, electric, or sewer hookups. But make sure that you abide by all the rules of where you're staying so that others can enjoy free camping for generations to come. Mooch docking, on the other hand, is camping at a friend or family's home while you visit. Depending on their setup, they may be able to offer you electricity, water, possibly even sewer dump. Make sure if you do mooch dock that you're a good guest. Slip to your host a little bit of cash to help offset the cost of what you use. And they'll be more welcoming the next time you come to visit. If all else fails and these things don't help keep your summer travels on track, traveling closer to home or staying longer periods of time between travel days is a good way to help reduce that cost of your RV travels. Doing all that we can is the name of the game this year for saving those summer travel plans. Well, that's all I have for you today, but make sure you comment down below how you're offsetting the rising cost of fuel as it may help others that watch this video. And if you found any of this information helpful, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, if we don't catch you on the road, we'll see you.